The Tascam DR07X is a very high quality linear PCM stereo recorder. In this video, I'm mainly going to focus on how you can make digital connection to your iOS devices like the iPhone or the iPad and even the Android phone. It also works with the PC and Mac out of the box. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Let me show you how this works. Let's get right into it. Before I do it, I'd like to mount it on my tripod, making uh, this demonstration a bit easier. It has a quarter inch adapter in the back and it is powered by two AA batteries. To connect it to the iPhone, all you need is a Lightning to USB adapter, USB A adapter. And for Android users, you need a micro USB to USB type C cable. For iPad Pro users, you need a micro USB uh, to USB C cable as well. So these cables are interchangeable with uh, Apple or Apple uh, iPad Pro or Android users. I have the uh, Motive app from Sure open, so you can actually see the power meter going up and down. So to make the connection, connect the lightning adapter and grab a regular micro USB to USB type C cable. And this end goes into the micro USB port of the task cam. Go to the menu option. I'm going to zoom in, scroll to the USB under the menu options, enter this option, go into the audio setting, press enter, and pick the iOS option. The iOS is selected, keep everything as default, the sampling rate doesn't matter, you will never hear the difference. 44. 0.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz really does not matter. The connect option is important. You have to do execute, press it to execute. Now it is connected. From here, it shows USB in the recording interface. Now I'm going to record some audio samples so you can hear what it sounds like. I'm going to point the microphone directly at me. I'm sitting about one feet away. Now I'm going to press record. Okay, now it's all synced up. I try to sync up this audio footage from my iPhone 13 to my current camera. Now I'm going to do this. Hopefully you will hear the um, st stereo imaging, right? And it also supports the Y shape, but I would have to press confirm here. Therefore, I will get the, a wider stereo imaging. Okay, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So hopefully you will hear the difference. Okay, so that's how you do it with the iPhone. Now I'm going to stop. And for iPad, it's even easier, or for Android phones, it's going to be the same. Connect it via USB cable. For, uh, for this demo, I'm just going to um, click the voice memo app, just do record, you will see The audio is coming from the test cam. I'm just going to use its X mode. Switch to X mode, yes. And um, yeah, that's how you do it. It's a direct connection, no adapter is required. Uh, very easy to do. Done. Disconnect. Now for Android phones. Again, using the same type of cable. Actually, I can reuse the other one, but now I have a shorter 
USB cable here. I'm going to unlock my phone just a second. Go into the sound recorder app. And for Android user, you will have to do this. First of all, you disconnect from the previous iOS connection. And go to the menu setting again, USB option, and uh, audio interface, and connect. The connection type has to be set to um, PC or Mac. And that would work with the Android phone with a USB Type C interface. Okay, again, I will have to do execute. Now you will be able to hear, uh, I'm going to click record. As you can see, this indicator, it is recording from the capsules, condenser capsules from the task cam. Okay, I'm going to pause, stop it, and discard. I'm not going to save it. Now let's take a look at the um, interfaces or all the button options of the DC uh, of the DR07X. So a very high quality condenser microphone on top uh, that can be changed in either X or Y position, X position by default. There is a microphone, external microphone input, 3.5. On the other side, we have a line out or a headphone jack connection. So I can monitor the sound coming out from this uh, recorder. Uh, however, you will not be able to do the real time monitoring using uh, this um, audio output or line out when it's digitally connected to the iPhone. So that is not going to be possible. You will not hear it in real time, unfortunately. Um, and on the other side, we have the micro SD card input. That is a 32 GB. You don't have to use a very high speed uh, SD card for this. It is OK to use a lower speed as uh, audio files are relatively small compared to recording 1080p or 4k videos on your camera and to start recording just press record I'm sorry I have to disconnect from the um, USB digital interface first before I can start recording it takes a few seconds to disconnect now I'm going to zoom in again so you can see the menu options better press it once so it will go into standby mode and press again to start recording. It's that easy. Press the stop button to stop it. You will see the level here. If it is too loud, it's gonna peak. It's the, the best range is gonna be around a minus 12, a little bit more than 12. That is um, usually the ideal, part, uh, ideal level for our volumes. I'm recording at MP3 256K. Uh, which is really adequate for recording voices. Now press stop to end the recording. I can press the play Start button recording. to do the playback and I will be able to hear what I just uh, recorded from this microphone. Or I can disconnect it and enable, use the quick option to enable the speaker option. Then the playback will be from this little mono speaker. It is a mono speaker. It's not for stereo recording. Uh, it's not for stereo playback. Uh, okay, I can press here to stop it or press this button to stop it. Um, there is many other options, which I'm not going to dive into details today. Um, yeah, so that's how you use this high quality condenser stereo microphone for recording on the iPhone and Android. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you find this review helpful.